Decathlon, 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 Decathlon. That is all I saw in the comment section of my last venture out to Costco. And I suggested, what should I go to next? You guys said Decathlon. Here we are. Okay, 2,000 likes and I'll come back and buy this outfit because I can guarantee you that it's still going to be <laughs> Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at my local decathlon near Reading. Now, I must be living under a rock and obviously more of a sports direct kind of man slash probably never ventured outside of Newbury enough. Never actually heard of decathlon or anesis and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing, pronunciating that correctly. I watched Peter Finch's video for the first 30 seconds to make sure I pronunciated it correctly. And that's what he said, so if I got it wrong, blame Peter. This isn't new. Anesis have been out. I've seen quite a few reviews. I haven't watched any of them, um, uh, but they look incredible, especially the i500s, which are like £350, I think. And I'm hoping, I mean, it's going to be a long shop. I'm hoping there's going to be a full set of irons in here as well as drivers. So I'm willing to drop £500 on these irons today. But I also want to test the balls or what else they have here. But stock is low in the uk a lot of you commented there's hardly any stock in a decathlon store so i thought i'd just go you know what put my ear to the ground let's go and have a look um i did actually message decathlon uk on instagram say hey i want to come and do a video would you be up for it they actually said yes we'd love you to do a video give us your email haven't quite got that email back yet so i want to do a video with you guys so if you want to message me email me and let's say five sets of irons or package sets away to my subscribers let's get the ball rolling let's do something like that let's maybe gm golf dick sporting goods style video highly recommend you go and watch that very interesting but to decathlon let's go and have a look what they got um as i say good value direct to consumer irons and driver and let's be honest I think we need a bit more of this in the golfing market, especially where the second hand market is at the moment. Tons of people are taking up this game. Golf clubs are seriously expensive, especially even at the starting level. And we've kind of got cut or had the rug pulled from underneath us this year because there just isn't enough starter sets. There isn't enough lower end brands. And now the amount of people that are taking this game has tripled, not tripled, okay, that's a lot. Let's say 40%, let's go conservatively. I'd say 40% of people in the UK have at least tried golf since lockdown open and there just isn't enough stuff. And that is why the second hand market is so expensive because there's just not enough stuff on the ground ready to go. If you like this video, leave it a like. By the way, the support in the last two videos has been incredible. So thank you ever so much. And um, uh, let's go see what they got. Sadly, boys and girls, I think that is the limit of the golf stock currently in a decathlon at the moment especially the reading one i've done a bit more research had a look on stores and at the moment the package sets are only available in guildford and southampton so i think that is going to be tomorrow's trip editing time here boys and girls just quickly want to clarify i obviously want to try the 500 series but looking on their website there's not a single set of irons wedges or drive in the 500 series available in store only the package set so i'm going to pump with that first we'll try the package set and then after that we'll go down the route of trying to get the 500 series online when we can get my hands on them just want to clarify just that being said still very interested to give these a hit i couldn't quite believe when people said they're good value for money i couldn't quite believe the price a dozen balls actually cost in this place 5.99 that's literally like range balls are more expensive than that i know range balls cost 50p a ball like a decent two-piece one so i'm interested to i'm just gonna buy all of these i'm gonna buy that I'm going to buy the intermediate version and then I'm also going to buy the um, oh, intermediate version and then the torball down the bottom there. And let's go and give them a hit. Let's go and give them a try. Um, I don't really try golf balls that much because honestly, I do feel most premium balls are all the same. But when you have a 5.99 beginner ball, I mean, uh, what's it made of? Okay, 2,000 likes and I'll come back and buy this outfit because I can guarantee you that it's still going to be... <laughs> By the time this video, if it does, it's 2,000 likes. 7.99 for these bad boys. Check those out. That's not that's that's brighter than Ricky's colours. That is, let's be honest. And then a nice little orange top to go with it. 2,000 likes. The review of the package set when I get my hands on it. That is the. Uh, I thought this was a belt to go with it as well, but this is just like <laughs> something to with um, a bit of decoration on the wall. 
but yeah 2000 lights we'll um we'll sport that for a day why not i'd also be all over these if they had any in black or gray unfortunately navy's not my color i've got a few navy trousers and they're just so difficult to put with anything i'm very much now just a gray and um black kind of person but that being said 19 pounds for a pair of trousers I mean, I'm not being funny, I've worked in a pro shop long enough. When you're charging 64.99 for a pair of trousers, let's be honest, you know that you're going down the wrong road there. If you're getting into my golf clothing reviews in these places, like I did one in Costco, like what's the bare minimum you can spend and I actually look half decent out on the golf course. I'm actually getting into the idea of trying to find the best place to get your golf clothing, not spending 50 pounds on a t-shirt, 50 60 pounds on a pair of trousers 50 pounds on a belt 100 pounds on a pair of shoes like can we get you kitted out for 50 quid some of these places have a half decent stuff so pretty limited in stock and i'm not quite surprised i did hear you guys say in the comments that you're lucky to find any golf club equipment actually in store and i'm not too sure what it would have been like pre-pandemic i imagine there probably was a bit more abundance of stock in store but at the moment it's understandable there's hardly any stock anywhere that's why i was so impressed with costco actually having that amount of stuff on the shelf that you could literally walk in and buy because it's difficult to spend let's say 350 pounds on a set of irons that you haven't ever touched before and let's be honest don't looking on ebay there isn't any resale value of the anisa's golf club so it's difficult for you to then put your money down and then think well actually can i even sell them after that i've used them so i'll be interested to give them a try and test as i say the reviews are very good on the clubs themselves but it is difficult to buy something that's not actually in your hands and well let's be honest trust me or another person reviewing it that much that you can actually afford to stump up that money to then go yeah you know what why not let's give it a go and for a lot of you guys asking when's the second hand market going to get back to normal it's places like this that have stock in hand because people want to go and play golf and they want to go and play it now so the quicker these places have their 160 170 200 pounds 300 pounds full package sets back in stock a i think that's going to be great because i think across the board it's going to level the playing field but also it means the second hand stuff is going to become cheaper because at the moment you're just looking for anything and it will come by the way these places will restock and the nieces clubs i think are definitely going to have a lot more of the market share than most especially on the looks and i haven't even hit it yet so slightly bittersweet after that because at the end of the day me and mary are currently trying to get our mortgage in principle so I was willing to spend £500 a day to get the i500 irons and driver for the video but at the same time we only ended up spending £43 so the good thing is I'm still going to be married at the end of this day but the downside is obviously I will have to find their package sets and the i500 somewhere in the UK if not buy them online um, uh, and then when that comes about obviously we will give them a test but all three balls there £5, £12, £24 these are obviously the closest price no sorry these are the closest price to the Co uh, Kirkland signature which are £12 uh, a dozen so I'll be interested to say do these feel the same as the Kirkland do these feel a lot worse and do these feel a lot better for the price but as I say 5, 12, 24, 43 pounds in total now we're going to go and pick up some Wilson Staff DI9 irons which to be honest two years ago I couldn't even give away I think I sold a full set for to pitch image for 50 pounds on eBay and I was quite happy with that now I'm currently going to go and buy them for 50 pounds so that's how much the market's changed and that's good value for those irons so anything with a head grip shaft stick you name it anything you're getting for 10 pound a club you're doing very well and it goes to show how much the market has changed over the last two years so at least i'm gonna have some sticks to hit these balls with i was hoping to obviously kit myself out and go and test that after today but we'll wait till tomorrow to do that we'll go down to southampton or guildford the two stores that i've currently found that do supply those package sets if you're watching this video please don't go and buy them otherwise i will be out of a video tomorrow okay wilson staff di9s acquired five to pitch and wedge wilson staff as a manufacturer have come on a long way since these as i said two years ago you'd be struggling to get anyone to play with them just a general shortage i imagine that this fits most people's like wheelhouse i.e cavity back steel shaft grip you name it but they're just not the best looking irons in the world they're a bit chunky they're like fat shafted as you can see their ferrules don't look great they're very thick like they're very long and then like compact 
for example so like from top to toe they're quite thin but very long um, and they just don't necessarily look the best not really selling it am I <laughs> I've got to find someone to obviously buy these off me after I've finished with them but overall I mean there's so many better Wilson staff models that have come out recently and uh, just on general aesthetics and everything else don't get me wrong still be able to hit a golf ball with these um, uh, but I think there's a lot of better prospects out there than the Wilson staff model Back down here at Sanford Springs, we're going to do a first look at all these golf balls and then take out a couple of clubs and go and play a hole with each of them and see how they all perform X, Y and Z. You know the business. Distance, the £5 golf ball. Let's have a look at... Um, uh how do I open it? Oh, there. Um, uh, let's have a look at... Just general idea, feel... Oh, in... <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but I wasn't expecting that. Um, uh, no sleeves. Which actually, now I think about it, I don't know why we have sleeves, especially on the cheaper end balls. Like Pro V ones, I can kind of understand because, like, you don't want to spend fifty pounds before you go and play, so you might as well just buy three for twelve pounds or thirteen pounds, fourteen pounds, or potentially fifteen pounds, depending on what golf club you go to. But um, cheap balls, actually, now you think about it, it's just a waste of packaging, isn't it? Because let's be honest, by the fourth hole, you've already opened two sleeves of them because you've lost them um, uh, halfway down the um, uh, golf course. They're, these are really light. This is this is essentially just a range ball at the end of the day without range on it. If anything, actually they're all different slight colours. Is that me? They all feel like they're slightly different colours as well. So overall, cheap. Can I play golf with them? I'm going to answer that right now. <gasps> yes. Now as you can see from this very detailed graph, what each ball gives you. And to be honest, that kind of is it. Like making a ball, people have this perception that Pro V1s go further than anything else. And for some people with the right club head speed and driver, potentially it hits that perfect 2000 RPM spin rate, but it doesn't come off the face any faster. Like if you tested the worst and best balls in the world with the best players in the world, we're talking like four yards, like three yards with the driver, the money comes in at the short end of the bag. We're talk talking chipping, putting, wedge game, it's difficult to manufacture a ball to spin compress at when it's not being hit hard. That's where the layers come in. That's where the urethane comes in. That's where the coating X, Y, and Z. It's very easy to make a ball that goes far, i.e. a pebble. But for it to go far and do all the rest, that's where the layers and money and expense comes into. So to be honest, that there is pretty much true. But if you live in a very wet country, then let's be honest, that doesn't really make the slightest bit of difference. If you play off 20, let's be honest, that doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. If you keep losing six balls around, both of those don't make the slightest bit of difference. Right, let's get in. She's got chances. She's got chances. Absolutely air mailed the first one. That's the cheap one. Bounced on the ridge here, gone out the back. It wasn't too far off, but unfortunately it's taking a kick and then bounded on. The other two pretty good shots. Intermediate one, closest to the flag, pitched, stopped next to the mound the hill as you can see big slope here so happy with that and then the more expensive one these two were very equally struck i think that one's kind of spun up a bit up the hill and then rested because it's obviously finished sideways of the pitch mark this one had a bit more room to maneuver and that's pitched well that's spun back about 15 15 foot 12 foot something like that overall feeling that feels like your normal ball, but twice as much as the Kirkland. So it's equal to AD33 Tour, NXT Tour, Chrome Soft. Yes. And it's £10 cheaper for the dozen. Kirkland, though, I say, still up there. Intermediate, cheaper at the back. In terms of sound and feel, though, well, I'm trying to remember back now. I think that sounded awful. These sound and felt exactly the same. Obviously, I'm not a good enough ball striker to tell the difference. Here's my point for golf balls in general. A lot of people see me hit those shots and go, oh, I'd love to spin the ball back 12, 15, 20 foot. Yes, it looks good, but if you're an experienced player and some of you low handicappers, long hitters, such as myself, will understand with what I'm about to say. It's annoying playing greens in England or when it rains 
and the greens are quick like they are at the moment and very soft because you can't just go 100 yards wedge you have to go Oh, I'm going to have to drop one but hit it at 70% to take some of the spin off because it's at the back and if I spin it too much with the 60 degree wedge then it's going to come all the way off the front. It's annoying. Spin rate, when it comes to the UK, other countries that is pretty much wet all year round, don't necessarily worry about. You don't need super spinning balls. You don't need the ones that are going to grip all the time. Summer, yes. Different colour fish. Pro V1 around the greens if you've got the techers X, Y, and Z. Winter, you can literally use anything. And with that statement, I'm not even going to bother playing the next one as I don't think I can actually add anything else to this argument. When I look at golf balls, I look at price points. And when I look at price points, I look at the level of golfer. Are I think the Anisys 599 ball is unbelievable value and an entry point that you can actually start playing this game without worrying about spending 20 pounds around on lost golf balls i.e. it's going to speed up your rounds because you're not spending two hours trying to save yourself 20 quid in the bushes. The intermediate ball is a bit of a nothing ball for me really. You're either going to go cheap or you're going to go Kirkland. There's just no two ways about it. And I know you might be thinking, Simon, you've just all hit these balls once. How can you possibly tell? <sighs> I've hit so many golf balls and as I said at the start, unless I hold the expensive one, if I hold the Pro V1, it just doesn't necessarily add anything extra to my game, my driving. How am I supposed to know? There's so many variables. We are the variable. If you like the feel and sound and just general confidence of the 2499 um, Anisys 900 ball, then Tour 900 ball, then by all means, please go and play it. If you're only losing one ball around. If you're not, I'd stick with the Kirkland, and if you've just started, I'd go down the 5.99 for a dozen. I don't know how you even make a ball that cheap. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. As I say, down tomorrow, Southampton. Let's go and pick this package set up. Actually, I might just go and order it now so I know that I've got it. If you like this video, leave it a like. Any suggestions down below? Some great suggestions last time. Car boot, charity shops, all that stuff, which I think will be coming to the channel very soon. Guys, if you wouldn't mind leaving this a like, subscribing if you are new. Catch you guys later.